Sorry about the washer in the background. I'm just trying to get these noodles in real quick and then we're gonna have a little chat. We're gonna have a little talk. But these noodles gotta go down or I can't leave it. Freaking A. Oh, the washer. Oh God, the world. What in the universe is this chaos? Okay, noodles down, noodles down. We can leave that alone for a bit. <sighs> well, hello, my little loaf. Okay, sorry about that chaos. Oh, now we're in the peace. We're in quiet. Everything's going to be okay. I smoked a joint. I smoked a cup hits of the yoint. So that's your heads up as to why I am like this. Don't let me forget that the noodles are boiling on the stove, okay? That's going to be my length of time recording this, hopefully. When the noodles are done, I'll be done talking. Don't let me forget. <sighs> standards, settling, boundaries, gaslighting, <laughs> all the freaking things that people be talking about. And, you know, we should be talking about it. We should. Is it the right time? Is it the right place? Is it with the right person? A lot of people don't even care about what you're saying. They're just talking to talk, and most of the time, no one's listening. It's all just a facade. Anyways, I had something I want to talk about. <sighs> Let me be high for a second. Let me just doze off and be high for a second and I'll come back. I'll come back. This is going to be like watching a black and white movie where nothing was edited. No scenes were clipped. And you just watch them stand there and mouth breathe. Until they go on to the next line or scene and everything's just really awkward and slow. Gotta love that time period. <laughs> so something about renegade? Renegade? Retrograde. <laughs> Where things are being revealed of people. Like uh, the blinds are coming off of where people can't you know, stay ignorant of who they are. Everyone's having to look in the mirror. Or, you know, maybe not all, because some people really won't see what's right in front of them. Some people won't see the truth. The fact of what their life is and the choices, choices they've made to get themselves there. You know, some people will never, ever open their eyes and want to see that. But to those that do, you know, have a slight interest in growth, in healing, in evolving, progressing in life, all those things, all of that, this retrograde, this rare-ish moon, full moon coming up. It's supposed to be a uh, it's supposed to be something like everything, you know, every day. It's something. Well, this is supposed to be something too. Yeah. And I feel it. I feel my my cycles coming around. The things that cycle every year it seems around the same times, weeks, months. Where I just feel similar ways and I'm just like, why am I feeling like this? It's because, well, 
I did this particular thing last year, the year before that, 10 years ago, 20 years ago. 25 years ago. <laughs> you know, of just things that happened. And it's kind of like I'm reliving it. But I'm trying to not settle into what I'm used to and how I have my brain on habitory pathways to make my decisions right now, I'm going to choose something different. I'm going to choose to love myself. I'm going to choose to take care of my body. I'm going to choose to say affirmations and tell myself you're okay you are worth love you deserve to exist um you hold value with or without doing all the fucking chores in the whole wide world loving yourself is truly a very long drawn out life lesson at least for me yeah it's taken a minute but i can see that i'm i'm doing it more can you tell that this piercing is bothering me i need to start cleaning it more again it's it's mad it's upset always the piercings that are up here in this area, give me. Oh, I don't like it. It's okay. It's because my hairnet got stuck in it, stuck in it at work, and it really irritated it. Noodles are probably done. That means I'm done talking. Okay, good talk. <laughs>